看到你做心理准备，让菜鱼过来吧，把下面鱼，我叫我叫对面去，阿婆带来吧，阿婆带来吧，赶紧去打鱼，菜鱼有没有没有，阿婆带来吧，阿婆，阿婆带来，有没有，把下面鱼，买我带来，我给，我要抓，抓鱼，我抓，你急我，来来米，来米，现在有个新的方法，我带来，哎，我抓。Isn't me? Isn't me? You are you are more than lucky. If not that you had already designed you, I would have done the redesigning for you. Me? After everything I have done for you, after taking care of you from when you were a child till you've grown this old. Ever since your stupid prostitute of a mother died? My mother is not a prostitute! Will you shut your mouth before I shut it for you? Ma, ma, you ma, ma, ma. Would you leave her? Leave her for me. It's again. Was your mother not a prostitute? Answer me now! Which are you? Talk! Come and talk to me! Was she not? And in her own case, self, she was a very cheap one. Very useless as shower. I shall cobble, cobble. When others were collecting five naira, she was collecting one one naira. Ten ten cobble. Penny penny. One one naira. I'm a way way. Two two cobble. I'm a nana. Was that not your mother for you? She was a useless and shameless woman. Just the same way you're turning out. And you might even be worse. Because looking at you, you will not amount to anything. Look at her. She, she, she just had the nerves to go out there complaining to people that you were very wicked. Imagine, without your useless, stupid friend of a baby to tarnish our image. Don't worry. Your time in this house will be very, 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 very numbered. Hmm? Of course. For your information, Madam, Chief Obidike was here this afternoon and he came to ask for your hand in marriage. Bam! And I have accepted. Mm -hmm. So start preparing your mind. Namijia. Baba, how could you? Eh? Baba, over my dead body, I will not marry that old man. Eh, what? I will never <coughs> marry him. Part of your bride price is here. Hold on, Nishinja. Nemo! Eh? So start getting yourself ready. Because you are already a married woman. Bam. Your name has changed. Your title has changed. You are no longer ordinary as in me. You are now Lolo Obidike. Oh! Hey, I win! Lolo Obidike! Lolo! May you live long, my Lolo? Mama, over my dead body will I marry that old man? I will never marry him. I will marry him, Mama. So over your dead body? Over your dead body. You either marry him or you die. Make a choice. I'm ready to kill you. Make a choice or you want to go into the streets like your mother? Nobody has 500 naira for you. Oh, but the same 10 10 go. I'm a way, way. One, one naira. I'm a way, way. Two, two go. I'm a way, way. What's on? Oh, baby. Is this not too much? 12 different Ashebis, and we're buying clothes for all of them. Ah. Baby, it's not too much, though. This is even the first list. Wait. There are still more. Baby, I want this our traditional marriage to be the talk of the town. I want everyone in this village to be talking about our marriage. I don't want to do what my friends did now. I want an elaborate wedding. Listen, the problem is not with the money. I mean, most of these things here are not necessary. We can actually cut down on some costs here. See, baby, I don't want those. All I want is what is in that list, and you will get it. It's not as if you don't have the money. I, I don't want to. I don't want my marriage to be like uh, what is it called, Patrick and uh, Ozioma's own. But at least they are happy. And that is all that matters. What matters here is that I want this thing, and you will get it. I don't know why you are being stingy these days. It's not like you don't have the money, and I haven't even brought the the decoration list. You are complaining. Baby, you didn't even compliment my hair and my makeup. Are they not beautiful? 
they are beautiful. And you look beautiful too. Thank you. I know. And that's why you're marrying me. <laughs> Baby, smile now. Smile. Why are you keeping your face as if someone died just because of small money? <laughs> smile well, my boy. <laughs> mm -hmm, that's it. Hey! Hey, Chimo. I don't know why you're laughing because there is nothing funny here. <laughs> What I'm seeing here is even funky and funny <laughs> all together. You know what's happening? You know, sometimes you're very, very stubborn. <laughs> I saw this thing coming from the day one. I continue telling you that this is not a good idea. But you don't want to listen to me. Over here. Let me tell you, by the time this girl and her mother finish dealing with me, with you, eh, come over she herself, I got for the more for the scorn, they are going. Actually, girl. The thing is, no matter how you say it, mm. I am still going to marry you. I love her and I've gone too far to go back. You have gone too far to go back. My brother, you left the sweet girl that God gave to you, an angel from heaven above. Eh? You left her to follow this lady, Broja. No, no, from the day one, what you're saying is that she gave face. Eh? Wait, let me come again. She gave breast. She can't fight. She can't get in She can't sabiku. Hey, she be wife material. She she be wife material. <laughs> My brother, there's no wife material in that particular product I'm seeing. You have a in a chicken. Just mind yourself, oh. because by the time that girl and her mother finish dealing with you, eh? You will not even have to, to pick in your shop to sell. Makachine, okay. In fact, your uncle be as on a jogging now, how good do you? Man, I'm going to have you in a shop, and Kobe on a second now, you're remitting. Man, I'm going to have you in a shop. You will see it with your two eyes. My lady, I'm not thinking. So, I don't know. What's your name? Thank you for bringing me food. It was really nice. I appreciate it. <laughs> Are you good? Yeah. yeah. Thank you. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Uh, it was wonderful. Um, why do you beg? I mean, can't you find something else to do? Trust me, I've tried. Like, a whole lot. I've tried. So where are you from? Are you from this community? Mm, no. I'm, uh, I traveled from far place. From far? Yeah. Are you running from someone? <laughs> or you just decided to be here? <laughs> Yeah. It's fine. I I totally understand if you don't want to talk about it. Uh, uh, thanks. You know, I feel that way too. Sometimes I feel like running away from home. Really? Why is that? My stepmom wants me to marry an old man. Right. And your mom? She died a very long time ago when I was very young. I've heard so many stories and sometimes they call me so many names like the daughter of a prostitute and they said my mother died of eight. Oh no, that's so cruel. I'm, I'm so sorry. About that. But uh did she I don't know. I don't know. All I know is that my dad hated me so much because of my mother. I see, uh Wow, that's a lot. You know, I I can't imagine what you've been through. It's okay. Everyone has a story. Yeah, I guess so. Oh, anyway, I'm really glad that you got me food because you didn't have to, so thank you again. It was wonderful. Chief, you're welcome once again. Oh, thank you, madam. Thank you. Um, uh, Amanum, I don't know what to offer you. 
You know the expensive type of things you rich people take. We don't have it in this house. Our juice and our wine. I don't have any. But my daughter prepared very sweet onubu soup. But we are too funny. <laughs> too funny. <laughs> See, let me tell you. All those processed foods are not the best. The natural food remains the best. It's you. Probably. Yes. Honestly, I would have loved eating that ufu onubu prepared on my love. It's just that I've eaten before coming. Uh, uh, maybe by next time I keep myself relaxed and eat that of the room. Definitely. So, where is my love? She's inside. Um, is it there? Is it now? Mama? Come on, someone is here to see you. Good day, sir. Isn't there, are you? I'm fine, sir. Good. Isn't there, I know your mother must have told you the reason I'm here. Mm. To tell you the truth, I'm very much interested in you. Well, unfortunately, Chief, I am not interested in you. I am not! Do you think I'm one of those girls you, you think you can mess around with in this village with your money? I am not interested. Leave me alone. Go away! Is Stop coming here because I don't want you. Listen, shut up. I mean, this is I'm too rude of you. How can you, how can you have all such hatred in me when you barely know me? I asked you, why do you hate me so much? If you will excuse me, I was doing something inside before you called. Isn't it? Isn't it? Come back here. Isn't it? Um, Chief. Chief, Biko, eh? Sorry. I'm really very sorry about this, but I will talk to her. Oh, Biko, I will talk to her. Please. No problem, madam. Sit down. No problem. Um, <laughs> well, this is one of the characteristics of a woman. I, I have my, I have my patience. Uh, people say good things never come easy. So, I think I have my patience. I wait. Just to tell her, I still love her. So this is where you ran to, okay? Mama! This is where you ran to, no. eh? What was the meaning of that thing you did in there? Mama, leave me now, leave me alone. I should leave you alone. You have mouth to talk. Now listen and listen good. If I lose Chief as an in-law, hey! Hey, hey, Zine, I will skin you alive. I will draw breath out of your nose. If I lose all the good life Chief has promised me, I will kill you and bury you and nobody will ask questions. Nonsense. Now listen, if you know how you can salvage that rubbish attitude you put up there, if you know how you can you can perfect Chief being my in-law, better start doing it now. Because if I lose him as an in-law, lose other man as an in-law, what I will do to you? I will come and I will come and I will come evening news. What's this I'm hearing about you always sitting with that uh, uh, beggar? I mean, I mean, you are the what? Is a beggar not human? Ebere, he's just a beggar, not a rapist or a murderer. Look, he, he's not begging by choice. It's just, it's just some circumstances. Oh wow. Circumstances, what? I can see you already know too well about him. Then it must be true. Yes, it's true. Look, this guy has a sound mind. Emperor, he is affectionate. Wait. Don't tell me you like him. Isn't it, please? Don't tell me you like him. Well, I like him. God forbid. If I chukwa you, I cast and bind every spirit of affectionate, sound-minded beggar hovering around my friend. Amen. You're just being dramatic. There is nothing wrong with me, Ebere. I'm fine. There's nothing wrong with your friend. I don't think you're okay, though. I don't see you. I don't think you're okay. Oh, Ebere, that's a sight. Do you remember this man? This man that stopped to offer us a ride on our way back from the stream the other day? Uh, Chief Obidike. Exactly. 
Do you know that man came to this house? Why? Hey, Barry. That man came to ask for my hand in marriage. He really, he really said that. Hey, Barry, I'm serious. He told my mother about it. Okay. Hey, Barry, imagine that old man. I have really suffered, though. <laughs> I have really suffered. That man that is twice the age of my father coming to ask for my hand in marriage. I'm sorry, I'm laughing. <laughs> so what did you tell him? What am I supposed to tell him? Of course I said no. I told him I will not marry him. In fact, I told him to stop coming to this house. Okay. I'm not interested. Okay, calm down. So this is it. I think the perfect thing to do is to go to his place. Meet him one on one, eh? And then you're not interested. I think it's better like that. Mm -hmm. It's better, eh? It's going to be better like that. But it's actually funny though, but I think that's the best thing to do. Is in the my love. Hi. What a pleasant surprise. So how are you? I'm not fine. I am not fine. I only came here to ask you two questions, and I need your answers. Go ahead, go ahead and ask me. Why do you want to marry me? And secondly, why do you want to ruin my life? Ruin your life? Yes. Listen, why would I want to ruin your life? Why would you go to my stepmother to ask for my hand in marriage without informing me first? That is the top question. First, I want to promise you that I will answer them one after the other. Why would I want to marry you? I, think I want to marry you because I love you. You touch me the way no one has ever touched me since the death of my wife. The very first time I set my eyes on you. Secondly, I want to marry you because I love you and I care for you. Not to ruin you. Lastly, I went to your mother because I felt she can do better in convincing you. And I believe she told you my age. Yes, she told me your age. But I think I do know that you're an adult. An adult thrice your age. I mean, I don't want to marry you. I can't marry you. Because I don't like you, and I don't love you, and I never will. I, Ezeni, I want to marry for love. Ezeni, you need to come to the reality of this thing. Ezeni, I have money. I have plenty of money. I have enough money that will take care of you. Ezeni, I want you to come and control this money. I mean, live a flamboyant life. Travel any part of the world you want to travel to. Just give me a chance to prove myself. Well, I am not interested. I am not interested in your wealthy and flamboyant life. I don't want it. Look, I came here out of respect to plead with you to leave me alone. Because next time, I will forget my manners and disrespect you without a second thought. Wait. I had your conversation with Chief. He's a good man. I've not seen him this happy except these past weeks that he met you. Let me ask you a question now. Okay, go ahead. Are you married? No, if, if you're not married, you can go ahead and marry Chief. At least you're close to his age. I would suggest you think about it. Yes, before giving answers. If you have a daughter like me, okay, will you advise her to marry an ancestor? Will you? No, will you advise your daughter to marry an ancestor? Chief ancestor.
Mama. Ayo, aku lokalisia. Bukan kaki biam. Where is my woman? Because I don't see her anywhere around. She went out to distribute some invitation cards for the traditional marriage. Oh. I see. Mm. That's nice. So, what brings you? Eh, all is well. But you know, I came to ask you for a favor. Oh. Go ahead and I'm listening. Mama, you know that the list you people gave me. Mm. It's really expensive. Mm? And I've collected like three other lists. But Mama. The amount is too outrageous. I, I, I'm just thinking if, if there is any way we can negotiate and cut down on some things. But no more day possible. We cannot cut down on that list. Not one single like them can leave that list. You see the goods you're buying now. High quality goods, standard at all points. <laughs> there is nothing we can do to that list, too. We can't remove anything from it. And, uh, come to think of it, I thought you were capable. Mama, I am capable. I know I am capable. It's just that it looks somehow that after this whole thing, you will start feeding from hand to mouth. Yeah. Uh. My, my business is already shaking. Hmm. Okay, chukwe puzli hii ni. Hmm? Hosu hada. Akwe hii na bea hosu. Gii bo kumbwa, work hada. If you normally close your shop by 6 o'clock, you start closing around 8, 9. Even, you might even extend it to 10, because some people need emergency. You want tala? If you normally open your shop by 7, gii mepe webe 5. Hosu hada. Because they hold that list. Not even a drop of salt can leave that list. Mba. We can do about the list in them. Oh, try harder. You will, you will achieve it. You know. You said you're not going to leak a check with me. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. uh, you wait for her, okay? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Isn't the chief is a good man? And besides, his wife is late. It's not like he's asking you to be his second wife or something. The life there will be much easier than the one you're facing here, and you know it. I mean, why not try considering him now? Hey, Barry. Did this just come out of your mouth? I mean, are you, are you the one saying all this to me? Isn't I'm your best friend? And you know I won't deceive you. I want what's best for you. I mean, are you, are you not tired of being treated like an outcast in your own father's house? And you think the only way to redemption is, is by marrying an old man? The most important thing is that you're going to experience a better life. That's what I know. A, a much easier life than the one you're living here. I, 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 meanwhile, Chief is, is not that old. Mm. Okay. So why don't you go and marry him? <sighs> I'm not the one he came for. Listen, isn't he? I understand the fact of marrying for love. But who knows? You might eventually fall in love with him. Just give it time. That's not possible. I can't fall in love with you. Because I think I... I think I like someone. <laughs> it looks decent enough. <laughs> Please, you don't have to flatter me. Come on, you can be honest. I won't bite. Okay. It looks awful. <laughs> well, yeah, well, come to think of it, it's actually not that bad. Mm. I mean, the most important thing is to have a roof over your head. And besides, it's not like I'm from a rich home. And it's not like my bedroom is any better. 
Okay, now you're just trying to make me feel better about myself. But okay. Anyway, can I offer you something? I actually made jollof rice. What? Yeah. Wait. You cook? I thought you... Beg? <laughs> that doesn't mean I can't cook when I make enough. Oh. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Yeah. Do you even know how to cook? I'll let you be the judge of that. Okay then. I'd like to have a test. Trust me, you'll be biting your fingers. So maybe you can just uh, sit right, down or right something, yeah. Let me... Uh... Hey! Oh, uh... You want me to help you? No, 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 I will. Please. No. The whole point is me doing it myself. I'll help you. Out. Mm -hmm. oh, um, I left 2,000 naira for you on the table. For uh, what? Just use it and prepare something for us, oh? Oh, dinaba? Anything, just whatever thing you feel it can get, just buy it and prepare something for us. Okay. One, oh? I'm already running late. Okay. Drama. she of a human being are you? No, tell me, what kind of a human being are you? You are the only girl that has been offered good life and you said no. Open your mouth, let them drop some drops of honey into you, your mouth. Get Simba. Eh? Your dreams of going to the teacher's college is actually about to be, to be actualized and you don't want it to happen. You can actually Go from your teacher's college to Cambridge, Harvard, Yale, Kowu, Yale, Kowu, Yale, Kogeni, Kanabe, and you said no. Relax, let Chief take care of you. Gesemba, what kind of a human being are you? Mama, Mama, can you just stop? Can you just stop this? Look, all the things you say about Chief, I don't want to hear it. It's not entering my ears. Mm -hmm. It's just like pouring water on a rock. My mind is already made up. Oh, I, I will not marry Chief. Eh. <laughs> Isn't it? If this opportunity passes me by, this opportunity of having my own mansion, Zala Lady, yes, if you have a gun, you will not be able to kill me. Isn't it? Isn't it? If I don't kill you, you will kill me. Why do you want to stay in hell? Eh? Why do you want to stay in hell? Why don't you want to just marry Chief and live a good life? Why do you want to live in hell or get in the of this girl? Why do you want to stay in hell? You mean more hell than it already is? Chu, you're answering me. Okay, you're not answering me. You're answering me, okay? You're answering me. If I talk, you talk. Is it not going to be a So if I talk, you now talk back at me, okay? Ha ha ha. Apanola. Gigacha, you will come back. I'm waiting for you. Nonsense. Stupid girl. As long as you refuse to do as I have said, no more food for you in this house. Huh? Until you do what I asked you to do. And for your information, this is number one. Number two, very soon you will no longer be sleeping inside. You will be sleeping outside. Oh, 
I am. Uh, um, I'm going to see a berry. And what do you have in the bag? Mama, it's my clothes. I want to take them to Mama Ijima to help me mend them. Mm. Yes. <laughs> Let me see it. Huh? Eh? In you know, Amu's English. Mama, come swear me. Come here. Mama, it's my clothes. Eh, I know, I know. Mm. Hey, hey. Hey, hey, hey. Ezine. Yay! Your clothes. Hey, hey. Hey, hey. Hey, isn't it? Has he gotten to this? Walonyo Shinri. Eh? What's the meaning of this? You are now a criminal of food. In a zooshinri. Where are you taking this food to? I'm not taking it anywhere. Who is he? He. Yes. He Who is the man you're taking this food to? No, I'm not taking it to any man. No. I'm the one that is going to eat it now. Since you say you don't want me to eat any food in your house, I decided to take it outside to eat now. If I dare find out that you are in any way lying to me, him game again. Him game again. All I can get my head over again a firing squad. What will you because he will own your shit. You are now a professional criminal. So, 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 you wanted me to bring out my money to take you to teacher's college. Can you go criminology? Hmm? And of all the criminologists to study only how to steal food. You can't learn how to do kidnapping. Get a go 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 get release the person. It is how to steal food. And in your food. Ogologo of food. Look at her. Akmanri. Oye ba na hongi. Nanri. No, come and eat. Biariye. Nonsense. Shameless daughter of a useless prostitute. Am I not going to give me this food? I didn't even What is this? Are you blind? Can't you see it's Gary, granite and sugar? Or do you rather prefer salt? I mean, why would you serve me this? Because that's what the money you gave me could afford. I remember I gave you 1,000 naira to prepare noodles when I was going out. Well, I realized we still have Gary in the house, so... And noodles, noodles is not a strong food to sustain a grown man like you. So I decided to make soup. I went to inform my head. I used the 1,000 naira to buy some ingredients that you can make in the soup. And we also have some left in the house as well. So I just joined everything together and and I also have a balance of 150. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How possible is that? It's very possible. <laughs> oh, God. So just enjoy your meal, okay? I'm coming, let me get the other thing. <laughs> I'm really sorry for not bringing any food. I know I promised I was going to get you some. Just that I was caught sneaking out. 
I'm sorry, um, I know I'm not supposed to be laughing about it. It's just, it's kind of hard to picture you as a food thief. It's, it's hilarious. A food thief, really? <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, I, I didn't steal anything. I just, I just took. Without her permission. Well, it's not like she's going to allow me if I, if I told her. Okay, I'm going to stop laughing now. Are you okay? Mm -hmm. Um, isn't it? I want to tell you how much I appreciate you. Your kindness, your compassion. I mean, you're one of a kind. I am literally begging on the streets. People call me names, people call me trash, people throw me trash sometimes, but you care about me. You show likeness towards me. You're an amazing person. I need you to know that. Hmm? You're the best. Now you're gonna make me feel emotional. Are you trying to make me cry? No, baby, I, I don't want you to cry. It's okay. Yeah, I, uh, I've actually had this in my mind for a while now, but I don't know how it's gonna come out. Considering the fact that I'm an actual beggar, but I like you. I. I like you a whole lot. It's just... I don't feel like I'm worthy of you. No! You are. Yes, you are. You are worthy of me. If you're being serious. Yes. You feel the same way. Yeah. I... I don't know what to say. Look, you don't have to say anything. Ezine, God forbid. A beggar. Ezine, I've seen you've completely lost it. Ezine, what is wrong with you? A beggar. Like everybody in the village knows that this man is a beggar. A B E G G A R. And so what? Imperial, so what? What are people going to say if they see you're becoming too close to him? They are going to shame you. They are going to boo you. Isn't it what is wrong with you? So beggars are not human beings? Eberia, is that what you're trying to tell me? Are they not human? Look, I like him. I like him so much. He makes me happy. He he listens to all my problems and then and he comforts me. What more should I ask for? What more? <laughs> Isn't it? You know, um, I was having my doubts, but now I've confirmed you've lost it. Honestly, how? A beggar. Like, how do you, I mean, do you enjoy suffering? How do you want to go from frying pan to fire? How? How can a fine girl like you, I mean, look at you now. How can a fine girl like you be in love with a beggar? No, I refuse to take part in this. It's only you on this one. I am not supporting you. No. A berry. Well, I'm only telling you as my friend. I'm not asking for your approval. <laughs> um, babe, yes? would you help me wash these clothes? Wash what? Did you marry me to come and be serving you? Get to your wife, not your house. Please take those smelly things out of my sight. What is your problem? Are you naturally bitter or this is the way you are? Where is this aggression coming from? Okichiko, you didn't marry a servant. You married a wife. Please take these things out of my sight. You have hands. Use your hand and wash it. Just break my mood. Carry these things and leave now. You left it here. To stay away for you to come back. 
Oh, my brother. Honestly, I regret ever marrying that girl. Hmm? Hi. Do you know ever since I married, I have not had peace in this house. <laughs> Hi. Marriage that's not even up to one month. My brother, you have already started complaining. Here, yeah. we do the part. Oh, I need companionship. What, what, what is oh funny? Oh my god. See, take your time. I don't like. Whenever I'm, I'm telling you something serious, you, you're laughing. I don't like it at all. I get to be a problem. Do you know why I'm laughing? Like? <laughs> Number one is that this thing is very, very funny. Very, very, very funny, my brother. See, let me tell you. If that I know very well that you're not married, that girl, I would have gone for her. Makachini ke krema grabo. Oka kankoro. Look at the way you look you. In fact, I'm going to share with you, but I'll pay her dad in two times. It's not yet late. <laughs> but do you know, eh? The one that pains me deeply is the fact that she doesn't do anything in this house. You do. Okay, look at the environment. Look at the environment of a married woman. Do you even cook? Now, is what? Look at, okay. Is my mama right here? The only thing she does in this house is wake up, make up, have a bath, and off she goes. Just look at look at what I'm eating. My hey brother, to be sincerely speaking, I'm really tired of this one. I will not lie to you. Because from evidence of what I'm seeing in your hand now shows that na ejira nyoma eboka white. Because it's true. Manizu put in here, but now you made a very big mistake. Because when I was telling you about this girl, you don't want to listen to me. In actuari anike can actuari or coca checker all and not in actuari anike. But you don't want to listen. What you're seeing there that very time was 17, 18, 19, bergade. 17, 18, 19, bergade. In Just imagine, just imagine your life now, my brother. You're not supposed to be suffering this thing you're suffering now. Chai. What a princess is in me. Hi. Acharugo wine. You really miss a lot there. Don't worry. I will go for that girl. She's too precious. What the camera here need to throw? In my mother, they are making you to front. Yeah, to free. If it's only when you lose that thing that is so special that you know what you lose. It's so rare. If let me tell you, if that girl you're flowing up and that, this is what your back people used to call idiaraba. Ndi bona oya upunu. Every day they are. I don't care. 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 I don't I don't care. I don't care. I don't you know this type of house. Oh, I'm so juice. Only juice. I didn't say salad, cake, ice cream, house help, ordinary meat. Don't worry. Soon, chief will be my son-in-law. Marcus, you already some manners. Chief, Chief. Yeah. Okogo. You're, you're welcome. Thank you. <clears throat> How is everything? Thank God. So what brings you here? Uh, mm, you see, I came to tell you. You can bring your people and come. Hmm? We are ready for you people. Whenever you want to come, you people should start coming. Oh? So? Yeah, thank you. Does she approve of this? Uh, no. But you know, I am her caretaker. I am her caregiver. I am her guide there. So, what I say counts. She doesn't have any say in this one. 
Just come with your people. Well, you see, madam, mm -hmm. uh, I don't want to force anybody into a first marriage. You were there when she publicly told me she doesn't like me. And she doesn't want me either. Well, if you mean what you're telling me, let her approach me by herself. Um, uh, uh, Chief, uh, see, um, you know, I can, I can work it out on my can own. Can you listen to me, madam? It's like you have exhausted what you came for. Please. I'm very busy upstairs. I'm doing something very important. And I do know also that you know the way you came from. Please make it of that dog. I'll leave you for now. I leave yes. When did you come? Um, I came about an hour ago. Hey. Yes, and I saw that your clothes were dated, so I decided to help you wash them. Hi. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you. I, I really appreciate it. Do you know you make everything easy for me? Babe, look, you are my man, and I see how hard you work. So this is my only little way of helping you out. Hmm? <sighs> Thank you. So, why don't you go in and freshen up? Once I'm done with what I'm doing, I will serve you a hot plate of pepper soup and beer. <laughs> Wait. Where did you get the pepper soup from? I prepared it. And I stole the bush made from my mommy's pot. <sighs> <laughs> 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 no, come on, you need to go. Let me help you. No, 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 no. I said go in and relax. I'll come and serve you your food, okay? Okay. And relax. What is going on? I'm just coming from your shop now. The whole place was locked. Get into this place now. I've been knocking since. Nobody is uh, answering me. Nobody opened the door. What happened? Why are you sleeping by this time? My brother, I wasn't sleeping. I was just thinking about his in there. Eh? <sighs> no, no. Uh, if what really happened is this, eh? please, please. Eh? Uh, let's just take this in a, in a very calm way. Eh? You have to stop thinking about his in there for now. Biko. You are not a family man. Of course, you are not a family man. You have a wife, you have a shop, you have everything you want now as a man. So the only thing you need to think about now is your wife and your business. Nothing else. What business are you talking about? My brother, there is no business. Who do? Have you been to my shop recently? There is nothing there. My shop is empty. In fact, the loan I collected for my traditional marriage mm -hmm. is yet to be repaid. So, as I'm talking to you now, man and things are doing. Seriously. Hi! So, what did you go I saw this thing coming from the day one. And I tried to stop you. But you don't want to listen to me. Have you seen it now? Have you seen it now? A traditional wedding that's supposed to be taken care of with Oberego. Even bright price, you can be paying little by little, instrumentally, day, year by year, month by month, before get child over, why am you no money? Everywhere will be daddy and mommy. You went to pay the money, boom. Traditional wedding, you want to shut down the whole city. Now look at it. The whole people that came to die your traditional wedding now eat and drank and eat everything and go. All of them, they have gone to their various places. So. Right now, you are the one suffering it. And let me tell you, everybody know that you're broke now. 
Only one problem is that nine and they are giving me poor face in this and you have open account with these people. They, you cannot withdraw. Look at it now. My brother, all these things you're saying now is not helping anything. You're just compounding my problems now. Because, what's going on? I want to tell you, I told you from the day one, but you don't want to, you don't want to listen to me. Now you have seen it. Even the wife you did all this for, to satisfy her, to make her happy. Now she's not even happy. She cannot even contribute to assist you one way or the other. No way. She's not even helping anything. I have learned my lesson the hard way, man. Hi. From generation to generation, we get the body and the Mama, how come? You're welcome. Thank you very much. Good morning, ma. You're welcome, my dear. Good morning. A lot of coffee. We slept well. I hope you did too. Mama. And how is your wife? She's fine. She's fine. Uh, this one you came to see us this early morning, not the one. Mama, all is well. Mm. All is well. Well, you know, our people said that a toad does not run during the day for nothing. It's either something is after it or it's after something. That's true. I have come to beg you. Please, help me talk to your daughter. Mama, I don't understand what is happening. She has changed completely. She nags. She's always ready for fight. And she practically does nothing in the house apart from sleeping. <laughs> At least she does something. I love your daughter. I love her so much. This attitude of hers is really driving me crazy. Mama, can you believe that each time I close from the shop, my heart skips because of the heat I know I'm going to face by the time I get home. Okay, Chipo, there is practically nothing I can do for you. I don't understand why you even came to me. You should have spoken to her. Eh? Because the Ojumwa I know, my daughter, the one I raised, she is a very, 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 count it all, very, very, very good girl. Hard working. Wife material, 1,000 yards. She's a good cook, a good housekeeper. So, okay, in a corner, I don't understand. If she has changed, then ask yourself some questions. Maybe the fault is from you. Mm. Mama, mm? is that all you have to say? Can you say your No, what else do you want me to say? I cannot judge anything based on what you just said. No, I can't just hear from you and start judging. I need to hear from her too. I'm not just one side of the family, Mama. No. Mama, no problems. I've heard you. I'm going to the shop. Go to the shop. Give me a chain of shop. Give me land all of. Sort it out with your wife. Give me a chain of camera now. Give me a chain of camera. Give me a chain of camera. So, um, tell me about your dreams. Dreams? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Do I still have one? <laughs> Come on. <sighs> Life can't be that hard. I don't think I, I remember how to dream. I honestly can't remember. Well, I don't know. Talk to me. Be free. I want to know. Okay. I used to dream about going to teacher's college mm. after my secondary school. I see. But my stepmom said she didn't have money. I, uh, so you wanted to be a teacher? Mm -hmm. Wow, that's cool, but I mean, why teaching? 
why not go for other professional courses? Well, I love the whole idea of teaching, especially children. I love kids. Yeah, me too. So, and in my secondary school, there is this teacher I admired so much, mm -hmm. Auntie Mary. Mm. She was a good teacher and also a good flogger. <laughs> 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 Wait, let me get this straight. So you liked getting beaten or what? No, no. Okay. I was never in her bad books. I was a good student. Yeah. It's written all over your face. Mm. Mm -hmm. You look like one of them. <laughs> anyway, um, speaking of your dreams, I know life is difficult and, and all that, but you don't have to let your dreams die or something. Just hope for the best and eventually everything is going to work out, okay? So just hold on to your dreams. Hmm? Alright, let me walk you home. Mm -hmm. Mom, she was me something. It could be what I want to I see me It could be what I I'll be going to my mother's house tomorrow. See you, Johnny. And I'll be needing some items. Here is the list. A bag of rice, two cartons of tin tomatoes, four liters of oil, maggie, ingredients. The total is 60,000. So I'll be needing the money now. Let me start the arrangement. Um, oh, go and buy it and give to her. Take. Okay, you could be serious now. Where do you expect me to get that kind of money from? I don't understand. What were you thinking when you were writing the list? For me to pay for it or what? Oh, you didn't even have the money and you were busy making such a huge list. Anyways, no problems. I don't have the money to give you. Come to think of it, what is even wrong with you? Ever since I married you in this house, how many times have you visited the shop? Let me even remind you. For once, you never visited that shop. Were you aware that I collected a loan to marry you? And that loan is due for repayment, yet I've not been able to come up with the money. And if I don't, I'm going to lose everything in that shop, including the shop itself. See, Okechuku, let me tell you. If all these things you are saying is for you to avoid giving me that money, you lie. You must give me that money. You're my husband, and it's your responsibilities to take care of me. What is it, Seth? Mm, as an orphan, you are now. Less privileged. Okay, Chuku, you must take care of me. See, uh, just respect yourself now. Because if you don't, if you don't, if I descend on you, I'm going to beat you like my fellow man. This is all this one you're saying, concerned. It's not, it's not my business. You, you have to give me the money for this list. Why? You must give me the money. Why? I'm not jack out. Here is the list. I'm not jack out. Name. Mm -hmm. There's someone that wants to come and see you. We've been seeing each other for a while now, and I really like him. Uh, okay, no problem. You can tell him to come and see me. Just like that. I mean, you, you're not angry. Angry about what? You said you like him, Ali? Yes. <gasps> Tell him to come and see me. No problem. Thank you, Nim. Thank you so much. Thank you. Hi. May God will bless you. God Thank bless you. you I will tell him to come. Okay. No problem. All right. Then. Okay. How are you? Hey, I want to buy bread. Which one? Mm, this one, this one. Okay. How many? One. Um, how is your friend is in there? You mean the girl you left? Thinking she's going to die now? After everything she did for you? Oh well, to bust your bubbles. She's fine and well. She did not die. Why are you sounding like this now? Okay, you better come shave up, bro. 
Mm -hmm. It's in your home. Mm -hmm. You can imagine. What's that? Julia went to a... What was that stupid boy's thing? Okay, to shop to buy bread. He has the F1 tree. The gods. So ask me how you're doing. Uh -huh. I don't see anything wrong with that. Maybe he's just checking up on me. Mm -hmm. Checking up on you as per... As per a doctor now. He's, he's very, very mad and stupid. Very calm down. Just calm down. Hmm? I don't see anything wrong in all that. And, um... Besides, I already forgive him. Yes. I don't have anything against him. When you be Oma. I wish him well. Let me tell you, happiness is very, very far from him. He's, in fact, he's miserable right now. You got to see how he's looking. If you do his job, he's almost empty. There's uh -uh. nothing there again. And then, hey, I haven't had Uju, your sister, is showing me enough pepper. Uju. Enough pepper that he deserves. So both of them deserve each other. Very stupid set of human beings. This is very bad. Look, I... I don't wish anyone evil. I just pray that they sort whatever thing is going on. My dear, I'm not as nice as you are. They are going to suffer. No. Till eternity, better no. suffer. Oh, do you know? Hmm. They won't suffer. They won't. You're already getting it. You need to see him now. He's already, it has started already. Yeah. This is just the beginning. Ah. This is very bad. They think God is asleep. Babe, mm -hmm. guess what? Oh, uh, what? Guess! I don't know, I don't even know where to start, just tell me. Okay, okay. My stepmom mm -hmm. has agreed to see you. Wow, are you serious? Yes! <laughs> look, I thought it was going to be difficult, I thought it was going to be hard. But look, she has agreed to meet you. Wow, that's... I am super, super happy. <laughs> yeah, me too, that's... uh. That's great. This is this is amazing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. You clearly don't look happy. But I am. I'm filled with joy. No, you're not. Your face gives you away. <sighs> okay, fine. Look, what is the problem? Babe, look at me. I mean, take a good look at me. Let's state the obvious. I have nothing to my name. I'm scared that your people will not accept me. I chose you. Okay? You may have nothing to offer me, but you have a big spirit. Amarova, the future is still very bright for us. Okay? Why do you keep looking down on yourself? You know, babe, I literally have nothing to offer you. Look, you are enough. You are more than enough for me, okay? Stop complaining. You're enough. How did I get so lucky with you? You're the best. Come here. I'm so grateful for everything, babe. I love you so much. Mm. Okay? I am not enjoying my marriage with Okechuku at all. Okechuku has suddenly become stingy. All of a sudden, he turns to a stingy man. Mama, could you believe that since I married Okechuku, we have never used meat to cook? Mm? Yes. I know Okechuku. Ordinary meat my husband cannot buy. <laughs> Mama, my pot of soup is always empty. All he knows how to do is excuses. Excuses, excuses. He will give excuses today. Tomorrow excuse, next tomorrow excuse. Mama, I did not marry him to suffer with him. When I was snatching him, I didn't know I was snatching nonsense. Hey, yeah, Mama. How can a man stay and he can't even provide for his wife? <laughs> so, this is why he came here the other day to complain, okay? What? He came here to complain about me? Yes. <clears throat> but you don't need to bother yourself. I put him in his place. Mm. Oh, but man, he's very small now. Uh -uh. I trust him. I put him in his place. I handled him the way I should handle him. But Mama, let me just be honest with you. You are the one that puts me to this mess. How? 
But you're not the one that pushed me towards him. You kept on preaching on how he's a rich guy, he owns shops here and there, this, that. You made me snatch him from my sister. Not knowing that we are snatching rubbish. You should have introduced me to someone else. At least someone like Chief. I, I know he's old, but it would have been better. At least when he dies, all his properties will become mine. I'll be living in luxury. Or wouldn't you like it for you to be an in-law to a, a billionaire? <laughs> Mama, have you, have you gone to Chief's house? <laughs> Mama, that man is very rich, Joe. And see his mansion. He has flicks of cars. Uh, yeah, I would have loved to see myself in that kind of luxury. <laughs> see, come, come to think of it, if you allow Izime to marry that man as you are pushing out to marry that man, Izime will be the one enjoying those money. Something that I should be the one enjoying. Uh, and you will be the mother of, uh, you know, Udogu. You're right. Something. <clears throat> You're right. Don't worry, I know what to do. This is time to show that I am the game planner. I will replan this game. I will change this narrative. I trust you. Don't worry. I'll do something. <laughs> no, Ask what, You know, he was seeing all those things he was bringing that time. Mad is he confused. Yeah. But forget about him. Oh, thank you. He's not consequential. In that moment, I'm saying, we forget him. Forget about him. <laughs> Meanwhile, <laughs> since it's been a long while, you ate meat. Come get cut and you know I cannot eat without meat. Mama, please do. I cannot wait to test meat. It's been ages. <laughs> Let me go and get you food too. You're welcome, my son. Thank you, Ma. So, um, what do you do for a living? Well, I actually don't have a job right now, but I'm staying hopeful. Hopeful. You don't have a job. So, um, what's that your name again? Maxwell, ma. Maxwell. Are you planning on raising your family by being hopeful? Well, um, mom, actually, Maxwell and I are working out something together. Yeah, we'll, we'll work out something together. Yeah. I see. You're working on something, mm -hmm. planning to do something together. Well, um, you know, wherever there is love, there is hope. Mm -hmm. mm? You're welcome again. You. Normally in my culture, we offer important guests something, even if it is a cup of water. Well, I'm fine, ma. You don't have to. Ah, fine. no, no, no. You can't be fine. I need to offer you something. You're my guest. Okay, if you insist, anything is fine. I'm coming. Oh, I'll be right back. Thank anything. you, Mama. Thank oh. you. I told you. I told you she would like you. You've just been scared for that. Okay, she's not that bad. Let's just... Let's just get Look, it. my mom likes you. I need to talk. She just relaxed. Did you say so? Seconds, you're still standing there. You get a hot water bit. You're still here. You can eat That one was not enough. Oh, mother, you must fall. Must fall. Mama, stop. Mama, stop this thing you're doing. Mama, How could you do this? Come on, honey. Get inside. How could you do what? Take good life. You refused. Try it at home. Get at home food. Oh, flower. Go on, food. Why would she treat him like that? Ebera, he didn't do anything. His only offense is just because he doesn't have money. He didn't do anything. 
Why would she treat him like that? Why? Me, stop. I don't know why you're crying over this stuff. I don't know why you're crying over it. And what your mother did is not even wrong, if you ask me. Stop looking at me like that. You're my best friend. I want what's best for you. You deserve the best. Maxwell is not enough. We both know that. You deserve the best. And the best is chief. No, tell me. The best is chief. No, not necessarily chief. Look, you're very beautiful. I mean, look at you. You have a very bright future. Just forget about Maxwell. In the future, I'm sure you definitely find somebody better. But I don't want any other person. Oh, God. Barry, I don't want anyone better. Maxwell is all I want. He's the only one I want. Look, Barry, I really like him. I love him. I love Maxwell so much. My body, my soul, everything is Maxwell. Why can't you, why can't anyone understand me? Even you, Ebere, why can't you understand? Look, Ebere, if you see Maxwell and you have a one-on-one -on -one conversation with this guy, Ebere, your perception about him will change. Maxwell, he's, he's really good and, and he's sweet. Look, I like him. Can't you see? Can't you see that I like Isn't him? He look at you. You deserve better. I just want Maxwell. That's all. I just want him. Oh God. Baby, can't you understand? Like, I don't you understand? You need to understand that we want the best for you. I can't. I can't stand with you on this. You deserve better. You do. Look at you. Are you not going to say anything to me? I don't have anything to say to you. Look, I'm I'm sorry for how my mom treated you. Let me tell you something. I expected that. I mean, I I saw that coming, so it's fine. Yeah. It's fine. So how are you? Have you had something to eat? Yeah, that's why I'm doing dishes. Um, look, isn't it? You're, you're amazing. You're wonderful and all that. But I don't want to come in between you and your mother or something. Okay? If I don't have her approval, there is no point to anything. So I just... Yeah, there's no point. Then let's run away. Let's go elsewhere. Let's leave this village. Let's let's start our life all over again elsewhere. You want us to elope? Yes. Uh, wow, I I can't do that. Why not? I mean, what exactly is in this village for you? <sighs> Why? Look, we can start all over again. The most important thing is that we have each other. I know, but I can't run away. I, I'm sorry. I will not do that. Um, Chief. Yes, oh. you're welcome. Thank you, sir. I came to make you an offer, and I know you cannot refuse it. Make an offer to me? Yes, sir. Well, you see, I'm just coming back from sports now. So, go ahead, I'm listening. Uh, uh, Chief, you see, since Ezine has refused to marry you, 
I came to offer Ujumwa, my daughter, to you. She is even finer than Ezimni. Very beautiful and elegant. Very, very hippie. Mama. Hi. Chief, if you see her, you will like her. Believe me. You are Oman, is it? Yes, Chief, I am. So how many daughters do you have? Because uh, I learned one of your daughters got married early this month. So which one are you introducing to me? The hippie one or what? The married one? Um, uh, uh, Chief, yes. Uh, uh, she got married early this year, but that marriage is not working. That marriage is not working at all. I did not make my investigations very well before I allowed her to marry that man. That boy is wicked. There is nothing he does not do to my daughter. He does not take care of her. He does. Hi! Even feeding money, he finds it difficult to give her. The barest minimum. Chogodunuke, I just spoke with that or something. He doesn't give her. That girl is suffering. Child. Child. He's very sympathetic. Very, very. But on the contrary, I have decided not to get married again. Yes. Um, since I couldn't marry Ezine, I decided to step down everything. I mean, live my life, enjoy my world, because time is very too short, very, very too short for me. So I wouldn't want anything to distract me. What, what, Chief? I, I, you, hey. Don't you think you need a woman beside you to enjoy the world with you? Yes, certainly. But not that kind of a woman you are introducing to me. You are introducing a woman with a heavy background, heavy back, whatever. Please, please. I want to live a fulfilled life. I don't need her for me, please. Um, as you can see, I want to go in and freshen up. Please, we can make use of this dog. No, no, do you, do you know that there are some women who are more desperate than anything? How, how can a woman wants to pull her daughter from her marriage and pass on to another man? She needs to pull her with Please, tell the security man. I don't want to see her anywhere around my building. Ah, good diggers. Mm. Just because of money, she wants to pull her daughter away from marriage and then pass on to her man because that man is rich. Definitely irresponsible woman. She is very, very responsible. Mm. Poverty. Oh. She better go and tell him. Please go. Is he Please, I'm so sorry. Okay, I, I know I betrayed your love your trust and everything. I'm truly sorry. I am, I am paying dearly for it. Okay, why are you apologizing to me? Why? You did nothing wrong to me. You made your choice. And I chose wrongly. I chose wrongly. Look at me now. Everything is happening to me at the same time. Please. Isn't it? You're the one for me. The one for you? No, okay. I am not the one for you. Because if I am the one for you, I'll be miserable. I won't be happy. But look at me. I'm fine. I'm doing well. I'm happy and I'm at peace at where I am. I guess our breakup was meant to be. Because I found someone better. Someone who values and respects me. I advise you to fix whatever thing you think is wrong in your marriage. Fix it. Because I found someone better. And I forgive you. I have nothing against you. Okay? You don't need to ask. I hold no grudges. 
There's a zoom there. There's Have somebody here, okay? So he's in his, he's inside his dome that you want to be, Abby. I can't believe this. Hey, <sighs> Barry. Can you stop? Please be nice, okay? Be nice. Oh. You're welcome. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. This is the fans that you requested for. Um, thank you. I'm 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 okay. But oh. you made him go out to get this. Um, if you guys don't mind, I'm I'm going outside to to take some fresh air. It's really suffocating me in here. Please. Babes, I'm sorry, okay? It's um, fine. I'll it's go talk to her. It's fine. Hey, Barry. What was that? What was that for? I thought I asked you to behave. Isn't it what is wrong with you? Did he give you something to eat? Like, what's this madness? Why are you so obsessed with him? I don't get it. I can't believe you can stoop this low to, to a beggar. Did you see his room? I mean, are you seeing where he's living? What's wrong with you? Come to your senses. What is wrong with that? Tell me. What is wrong with Maxwell? Everywhere, if you can't see that he is a perfect guy, then you have a problem. Yes. Look, I have been trying to make you understand. Not because I owe it to you, but because you are my friend. And I value our friendship. But look, Eberi, if you are going to disrespect my man, then it's better you walk away. Really? Isn't it really? Yes, really. It's either you go in there and apologize, or you walk away. And believe me, if you do, I will forget that you were ever in my life. Okay, fine. Good. Let's go. Sorry about the way I behaved earlier. Uh, it's, it's fine. I understand, so I don't blame you. My friend really likes you. And I like her too. A whole lot. If you break our heart, I'm going to break your head. <laughs> That's very funny. I promise you that. Trust me. Oh, I won't be breaking my heart. Thank you so much, Everett. My support sister. My number one cheerleader. Thank you so much. <laughs> And I love you. I love you too. <laughs> I love you too. So, uh, drink? Ah, uh, yeah, sure. <laughs> okay, <laughs> yeah. Push me to be out. I love Okay? Ah, now you kiss me. Ah, what happened? I, told, I nearly passed by you. I didn't even remember this your shop again. You that used to close very early, you are here now. It's almost at 13 o'clock. What happened? Yeah, my brother, I'm not even intending to close anytime soon. Hmm? Ooh, I'd dude. rather be here than be in the same space with that woman in the house. Eh? On a serious note, too, yes, I know sometimes we used to quarrel, uh, we fight sometimes, but this one, I'm really, really feeling for you. No, 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 no. See, my brother, to be honestly speaking with you, eh, this is the time you need to get both family involved in this matter. 
Kazoban do gino get kita chika hone ho. My brother, I have spoken to her mother. Uh -huh. Do you know what she told me? That she raised a very good girl. <laughs> well, uh, that if there is any problem, I should go and check myself. Jesus Christ. Like mother, like daughter. Makachineke, I want to hear more from you, Rogo Nogo. But to be sincerely speaking with you, Biko, when your bank is chiaba, if you keep quiet, your own God also will keep quiet. One name. Let's get the Bebai involved in this matter. Biko, pa, makandoge. Ha. Take one more. Sit down if you want to sit. Yeah, bro, I can sit down. No, but I will sit down. I'm an American Jewish man. Money Frank Amo, Fanta or Coca. What is the meaning of this? Um, sweetheart, you can go now. See you some other time, okay? Alright. Yeah, okay. Who are you? I said you should go. Don't mind this fool. Just go. You now bring men into my house. You didn't have money to give me, and I don't have a job like you said, so I found a new job. I... Like this, my God will punish no, 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 Mama, Mama, wait, wait before you start any courses on me. Did you even ask her what she did? I caught this idiot with another man making out. Don't call me idiot. I, I, even if you caught her with another man, would she be the first to do it or the last? Eh? You, you just talk and you expect me to believe everything you say without even asking her. Eh? Uh, would you? Did, did he catch you? With him? No, Mama. I Come, will you, will you shut up? Are you mad? Oh, oh, okay. Chukwu, name intimidate my daughter. Eh? Mama, now I see where all this arrogance is coming from. So, this is the way you want it. There's no problem, no. There's no problem. Believe whatever thing you choose to believe. But the thing is, I don't want to see her anywhere around my house. Now you two are together. Believe whatever thing you want to... Just tell her whatever you want to tell her. Believe whatever you want to believe. Now you guys just eat, dine together, and do every, every other thing together. But if I ever see you anywhere near my house again, hey, you cannot go like that, though. Sure. Come and give us money to treat, treat her. There's no money to shut up. Make sure, shut up. You know what I mean? Eh? You know what I mean? I'm, I'm, I'm trying to defend you. Show me. Or push you your mouth. Okay, Chuku, come and bring money for her treatment, though. Bring money for her feeding. She's your wife. Make sure, make sure. You're still. Who will take your bags inside the Shut up. Me chon okay. You're not even ashamed of yourself. How could you bring another man into your husband's home? Eh? How could you? Oh, Mama, it's very obvious now. It's because I don't see him as my husband. I married him thinking he has money so he can take care of me. Don't even know that he's, he's even poorer than we are. So And for that reason you decided to cheat on him? Eh? Mama. Just take a good look at me now. Look at my hair. Okay, Chuku refused to give me money to make hair. And I needed to make my hair and look good. So to you, that is a justification for what you did. Okay? Uh, 
Now, please don't judge me. Don't judge me. I'm not judging you. All I'm saying is just keep your mouth shut. Let me press this thing. The next noise you make will collect one backhand from me. Nonsense. Hold on. Mama, I want to see you. There's something I want to tell you. It's about Maxwell. Oh! Eh? What kind of human beings are you people? How come now you're car, you've come with your own? How many times would I tell you that I don't want to... You, you see that name? I don't want it to go into this ears. Mba, mba, mba. Don't, just don't irritate me this afternoon. I'm begging you. Please, Biko, Biko. Mama, I don't understand you. Sometimes I don't, I don't, I don't even know what you are thinking. Why are you drinking panado over somebody else's headache? Why will you tell her not to bring in that alien, discuss that issue with you? Somebody wants to suffer. She wants to marry the poor beggar and suffer for the rest of her life, and you are stopping her. She enjoys suffering. I know how to go now. Mama, just you know, listen up. Do you want her to marry? Yeah, it's okay. I will tell her to go ahead with what she wants to do. Uh huh. Just go and suffer. What did you do? Don't kill me. Oh. I know you are happy. You are very happy that my marriage with Okay has failed. Your prayers have been answered now. Go and thank your stars. But I assure you, I, Ujumwa, I will definitely attract a better and a richer guy than Okay. You will never end up in a better place than me. That is my assurance. Uju. Uju, I am not tracking anything with you. I don't know why you're always fighting yourself. Oh, please. Stop pretending to be happy. I know you have always been jealous of me. Because I am more attractive. And men prefer me to you. So you've been a bitter soul all this while. Backbiting. Anyway, congratulations to your wretched of a husband. As for me, I will definitely get a rich man of marriage. Should I advise you on something? Instead of looking for a rich man to elevate you from poverty, why don't you try working? Working to have your own money. Every time rich man this, rich man that. Aren't you tired of saying that? Would you? Despite being beautiful, Despite being attractive, curvy, your character is very bad. It stinks. And even if you get a rich man today, he will still bring you back home if you continue like this. So you had better work on yourself. Change, Uju. Change. Dare she talk to me like that? Who gave her that nerves? Ah, Mama. Mama, I blame you. I blame you. If you did not push me to get you, this idiot wouldn't be talking to me like this. Don't blame me. <sighs> babe! 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 babe. Oh, no, what is babe. Guess what? Guess what? What? Look. My mom mm -hmm. has finally agreed for you to come with your people. And trust me, this time it's going to be different. She's not going to embarrass you. You're sure about this? Of course, I'm sure. Okay, uh, if you say so, that's good news then. Ah, I'm so excited! <laughs> I am super excited. I love you. I, I love can't you. wait to be married to you. I can't wait to make you mine, baby. Come. Yeah, isn't it? What is holding your husband people now? <coughs> What's the essence of all this makeover if the groom is not coming? Eh? You said 3 p.m. and look at the time, it's almost 6 p.m. So what are you insinuating? Daddy, groom developed a cold feet and ran away. God forbid! God forbid! Maxwell will come. I trust him completely. He will come. I pity you. Same way you trusted the Ketuku completely. What happened? I refuse to be sad. I refuse to be sad. Isn't it? It's not as if anybody's just trying to rub salt into injury. 
Mm? If you look at it critically, you see that we are three hours behind time. Exactly. And you must remember that I have a meeting of uh, married women today. So by 6.30, if they are not here, hapukwam. If you look at it somehow, you might be right too. Because they said, it is already six. Six hours behind time. Who are these people? Mama, what's happening here? Mama, what's happening here? Maxwell? Wait, is that not the beggar? Maxwell? Oh, uh, yeah. And Chief, what is what is he doing with Chief? What's going on? I'll explain shortly. I greet you. Chief? Yes. Please sit down, sit down. Welcome, sir. Yes. Yes. Yes, sit down. Yes, sit down. Um, uh, I know you're all shocked to see me like this, so I'll just go straight to the point. Chief OBDK here is my father. <coughs> I actually returned from London about a month ago after my medical studies. As you can see, over the years, a lot of people have given me so much amount of respect, not because of my personal achievements or what I've achieved in life or anything, but because I am Chief OBDK's son. And I wanted that to end. So I decided to come back and live amongst the people as Maxwell. But not as uh, his son. So that's why I'm here. Yes. I think he's right. I'm, when my son came back from London, he told me he wanted to build the hospital in this village. And you want genuine people, people who are not after his money, I said, okay, uh, we played along that he will do what? Play with his people. Let them see him as Maxwell, not as chief son. <laughs> Chimo, I don't understand. I thought chief wanted to marry Ezinne. Yes, on the contrary, I came to marry Ezinne. <laughs> Young man, I don't understand what is going on. No, tell me. I mean, it's high time you stop this rubbish. This madness needs to stop. The other time you said that you give me two weeks. Now it's more than one month. Look, that I understand your pain and all that, but I'm having an amazing experience living amongst the people. I'm enjoying every bit of it. They're getting to know me as Maxwell and not as your son. We can come out of it. No man enjoys suffering. I know, I know, okay? But I need to do this for me. Please, let me do this. Okay? Listen, I demand you come back home immediately. Not yet. I need a little bit more time. Just a little bit more time. I met a girl, an amazing, young, vibrant woman. She has this amount of kindness and compassion that I've never seen. Let me tell you something. She gave me food when she saw me begging on the road. And I, I don't mean once, I mean, obviously, people give beggars food and all that, but she brings food to me every single day. Really? I am literally her responsibility now. She is kind. She's amazing. She's the best person I have ever met. Her name is um, Izine Obanugo. Izine Obanugo. I think that's her name. She's the lady your dad told you about the last time you visited. She turned Chief's proposal down. I see. So, are you saying that she turned him down because of me? I don't know, but it seems so. Yes. She's a real one. 
Yeah, there's no doubt about that. She's an amazing person. I mean, when everyone literally deserted me and spat on me and all that, she stayed, she was kind and she was compassionate. So, it's safe to say she's the best. Yeah. Yes. She's, she's really good. Her type is very rare to find. Yeah. Don't lose her. <laughs> Grab her. I'll do my best. Let me get you something to drink. All right, cool. I love her, Zinne. And I really wanted to marry her. But when I discovered how close she is with my son, I decided to step down my ambition and support him. And so if I did not marry Zinne and my son did, that makes her also a member of Obidike's family, which I wanted. My dear, you're choosing okay. Isn't it? I know this is all happening fast and it's very difficult to see through the lies and the deceit, but I want you to try and understand. I was literally begging on the road and you were still kind to me. You were the best person I have ever met. And I want you to know that I'm the luckiest man to have met you. I love you. All this is for your good. It's in there. Don't worry, I'll go talk to him. Hey. Well, you, you can be a man. You can be a man. I wanted to tell her all about this. Me. Why are you crying? Why would he lie to me? Why would he cheat on me? Despite everything we have been through together. Why? How am I supposed to marry a man who lies and deceives people? How am I supposed to do that? Isn't it? I understand how you feel. I do. But this is not the time to vent. Probably after the marriage, you can do whatever thing you want to. You could punch him on the face if you want. That man in there isn't the man I accepted his marriage proposal. What if I say I'm still the same person? Um, please excuse me. Look, I know it is difficult for you to see through the lies and the deceit. But I need you to understand that I'm still the same person. I am literally dressed like this because my father forced me to. Isn't it? I'm begging you to understand me. Why didn't you tell me the truth? I was scared. I mean, you had forever to tell me the truth. Why did you choose to lie to me? Why? Yeah, I was scared about this particular reaction. I thought the minute you figure out exactly who I am, you would bolt, you would leave. Yes, you're right. Yes, Maxwell, you're right. Because I do not want to marry you anymore. Please don't, don't say that. Isn't I don't I want to marry you to anymore. Be... Look, I don't know what I can do to change this. If I could take it all back, I would tell you from the start. I've been through a whole lot. I just wanted someone to genuinely care about me because of who I am, not because I am Chief's son. I am sorry. It has literally been pricking me. I wanted to tell you about it. Please. I'm sorry. I would never intentionally do anything to hurt you. I'm sorry. Okay, I need you. Okay, fine. If it's simplicity you want, then I would leave it all. I would throw away everything. We'll go back to our completed building right now and live there. Babe, please, I cannot lose you. I don't want to do without you. You're the best thing that has happened to me. I'm so sorry. I would never intentionally hurt you. I am madly in love with you. I'm I love you so much. Mama. Mama, you seem like this happening again. How, how, how on earth is this girl managing to get all those rich men? See, we were trying to push her into marrying a poor, wretched man so that she can spend the rest of her life in misery. Boom! He's a millionaire. A London with Tony Adamata. Mama. Mama, won't you say something? Say what? What do you want me to say when you have said it all? Eh? And when you say a London returnee, don't forget to add a medical doctor. 
Hey. London trained medical doctor. I'm the one that caused all these things. Go there and tell them that I'm coming. Oh, calm down, toilet. Okay, Mama. Mm -hmm. You can just scatter this thing. No. Why did I even advise my brother to let her marry him? <laughs> What is the meaning of this? Meaning of what? I don't understand. Why is the compound still unswept? Mama, how do you expect me to sweep it? Eh? Oh no, Mama, Mama, no now. Mama, look at me now. Look at me. Ask someone what they come. You expect me to sweep Guri, it? Guri, and sit down, my friend. Will you sit down? What rubbish? No, 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 look at your daughter. Ask someone what they come. You're still pressing around like a peacock, eh? You're not even ashamed of yourself. But mama, you know I don't know how to sweep now. Then you learn it. You learn. Stop telling me I don't know. Tell me I know. What is wrong with you? You can't sweep. You can't cook. You can't wash. You're not even ashamed of yourself. Your mother does everything for you. And you still tell me, I'm like, do one more. Let do one more. All these things, they're fed. They're like, that's faded. From that singular day, you came back from your husband's house, pressing around and telling me, hey, Mama, I'm going to marry a rich man. Okay, Jesse, wake up. A man who has a fleet of cars. A man who has mansions here and there. That is the man I'm going to marry. Until today, Munagia no no longer. It is what? Papa, foul! And you still have the gods to stand in front of you and show me who he again. What is it? You, you, you're not... You, you're not you're not ashamed of yourself. Look at you. Now listen. Because you have only two choices to make. You either learn how to do these things, or you go in there, pack your things, and get back to your husband's house. Because I I'm tired of you waking up every morning and get kota, get kota make up punka in your one side, get kota and cause in your the other side, looking like a masquerade. Then you step into the house, make pity. And feed yourself while I suffer. Then I will wash your clothes. daughter. The newest couple in town. <laughs> Look at my little boy, my swear it's my full grown man. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't it you're welcome? Thank you. I call it this night so that we can talk as a family, pop champagne and you know so that you know the next climb of action. Yeah. Um I think uh, as a father I need to find out. After her wedding. What is your plan as regards to the honeymoon? Well, uh, that depends on where my beautiful wife here would want to go to. So, babe, which of the countries would you like to visit? Hmm. I think I would like to visit um, Paris. Hmm. Paris? <laughs> yeah. Why Paris? Well, I, I, I don't really know, but I've always heard about that country ever since I was a child mm. and since I don't know much about other countries I can't think of anyone but Paris, okay, Paris and I've also seen beautiful pictures of the country wow. it's a beautiful place you have no idea honestly <laughs> speaking it's beautiful in the yes it yeah. needs to go mm. ah you sit there with your late mother I bring our 20th anniversary mm. in fact yeah, it's a very beautiful place she told me about that actually I was actually uh, thinking about Monte Carlo. This is a nice place. The view is oh. to die for. But I mean, if you want to go to Paris, Paris it is. 
Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what do you well, do? Uh, you can do boats. Boats? Yes. Travel from Paris, Paris to Cairo. Mm -hmm. I mean, I think it's my wedding gift to you. Really? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow, that would be great. I really appreciate yeah. it because it's gonna be fun, you know. Yes. When we're done having fun in Paris, then we just go down to Monte Carlo so I can show my girl around. The view is really good. Well, anything for you, anything. That's gonna be really nice. Anything. That's why I'm your dad. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much, Chief. You are part of Obi Dikes family. I mean, you're married to my son. See, see. Address me after the normal chief, okay? Thanks, Dad. Good, good. I'm your man. Pop this Let's go. All right. So, cheers to Paris. Mm -hmm. Let me pop this. You're welcome, my children. You're welcome. Oh, call them. My. Kogam, you are trying me. Hey, look at my daughter. <laughs> Try. Thank you, Mama. I really appreciate it. You're welcome. Um, isn't it? You're not smelling big man, big man. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Uju. Thank you. Anyway, Mama, we actually brought the stains for you and Uju. Oh, yes. So, Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> this one must be for Uju, I guess. You <laughs> know, know my body. <laughs> Uh -huh. At least if you saw this one, you stop wearing normal one for the in the Mama, I just allow me to admire myself. Hey, hey! Eh? Uh Easy -huh. uh -huh. one, Mama. You still remember the colors I like? Of course. Thank you so much, my daughter. Thank you. Beautiful. You're welcome. So you like them? Oh, yes, I do. Thank you. Anyway, I'm um, actually planning on fixing the wedding for next two weeks Saturday, so I wanted to know if that's convenient for you. You don't have to take me into consideration. <laughs> Just fix it any day, any time. I am there already. Oh, wow. hey, no, I don't, I'm not doing any job now. Oh, wow. I Just fix it, eh? Okay, and wow. I'll be there. Okay, I like the sound of that. In that case, it's settled then. Well, my wife and I would actually be leaving to Paris after the wedding for our honeymoon. Mm. My wife and I would be leaving to Paris mm. after the wedding for our honeymoon. So if it's not too much to ask, I was wondering if you could uh, help Ben Ben in the supervision of the land for the planet so that everything can run smoothly. Uh, oh, Paris, oh, Paris, France. Paris, Paris. Yeah, yeah. Paris France. Hey, hey. Easy one, mama. You. Paris. Hey, would you want to? Hey, don't worry, my in law. Planning, planners, planning, replanning. I am there already. Okay. Just, just know that I will be there. Anything, it's okay. May I will do it. Okay, straight, straight. Oh, wait, wait, oh. Isn't it? You mean you are going to enter an aeroplane and another country? Oh, you joke, Waga. Come on, stop now. Hi. Hi. Look at me now. I'm just stuck in this village. Ordinary big city, I did not even go. Just a wasted. Don't you come on. Just will come too, okay? Just stay hopeful. Uh, isn't it? There are some things that are naturally possible and some naturally impossible. You look hopeful. Mama. Mm -mm. Every single drop of hope in this one evaporated few minutes before you even came. <laughs> no iota of hope in this one. The only place eh, when he can say God what to hope for is she should when her husband brought her back, he said she was my bag and baggages. She should bag and baggage herself back to Kichuku's house. Mama. Eh? If not, eh, see, I am this this space away from kicking the jelly can and matching the bucket. If time is not taken, this girl will just topple me over. Nothing, nothing or cooking, washing, sweeping, ordinary sweeping. She was learning to sweep today. Maybe tomorrow she will start learning how to cook. Okay, learning how to cook. She might, she might jump into the fire. Oh my God, this one. There is no sense of hopefulness in her. Oh, forget about it. Meanwhile, is she moving? 
Oh. She didn't do the cooking. Name my she got all forty. Mama would love to stay, but we actually have to take our leave now. I have to uh, I'm so sorry. But I'm next time, <laughs> I don't doubt that, Mama. Uh, I don't doubt. Uh,